Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Alls and today uh, I'm back after, you know, taking a break for like a week because, um, you know, personal stuff. But um, here we are and uh, today I went to the garage uh, of one of the people I buy from and I found a bunch of Aventadors and as it seems these are actually, you know, uh, quite cheap now. So they're actually exactly the same price as the 2017 GT, which, uh, by the way, is one of my, you know, favorite auto class cards, if not the favorite, because this thing is so consistent and uh, quite fun to drive, easy, and, you know, uh, as of now, cheap. Uh, and this thing is, uh, I mean, it's not as fast and it's not as, um, I, I guess, rewarding, but it's quite fun to drive. So let me show you guys how to drive this. I bought like three. Uh, we're going to attempt to pink slip some, but I don't think if we're actually going to get any pinks for it. So uh, let's see. There you go. So this car uses a mixed drop launch, which, um, you know, used to be something which I did not like at all, but I got used to it eventually. And uh, previously, I um, my favorite mixed drop launch car was the NSX G3, but uh, now this thing is actually, like, um, kind of fun in a way, because once you get used to it, uh, you just simply cannot fuck up the launch, because, uh, let me... Uh, Try to hit it again. Okay, so the world record for this car, by the way, is a 6.712, and I don't think you can go shift it, so just uh, pointing that out. Anyway, uh, pretty much w uh, when the first light comes on, you're supposed to have up to somewhere around 4.5 thousand RPM, and you're supposed to shift at 8k. And I did, uh, in fact, uh, fuck uh, the reaction time there. By the way, um, you're supposed to launch at exactly 3000 RPM, so you know it's quite uh, clear when you're supposed to actually, you know, launch. But it can lead to some shitty reaction times, as you guys were able to tell. And I got uh, a lot of shitty RTs when practicing with the car, which, by the way, thankfully, uh, test drive does not actually damage the car anymore, so I didn't waste a whole lot of jams uh, during that. But uh, it's actually like a really nice car. Uh, which is something I was not expecting. I was always thinking that this thing was a piece of shit to drive, but uh, It's really not and it's uh, challenging in a fun way. So I'm gonna give it props for that. There you go So as I have promised we're going to hop into a lobby and uh, God fucking damn it like my chair is such a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, so Okay Let's go into a lobby. I do have three of these. Obviously, I'm not going to be risking, you know, my nicest looking one. Even though it might bait some people and, uh, you know, I'm going to use this for a thumbnail anyway. So, you know, we might as well not clickbait. I'm going to risk this one. Fuck it. You know, why not? So, that was my Snapchat and that's uh, not my girlfriend. Okay. So... <sighs> you know, as I was wanting to do some things with this thing, hopefully, you know... That's just some nice R2s, but then again, we're probably just going to get challenged by entry G2s. So, um, uh, uh, how can I fucking like uh, cool stuff only, please? Like, cool is such a cringe worthy fucking word, but uh, I mean, honestly, that's nice. Honestly, that is something which I would pink slip against. So let's do that. It actually has the fake copos. Actually, I mean fake copos, kind of. <sighs> I don't know what happens when he light lags me though. So that might be an issue. And I fucked it up. God damn it. <sighs> you know, I said it's hard to actually fuck up the launch, but uh I mean I just did, didn't I? With the fucking nice Aventador as well. So hmm. Pretty much, um, I forgot to mention, but uh, when you under uh, with this car, you're going to get a 6.9, so that's uh, really fucking useless then. And he got a 6.8. I mean, I, I guess we already took the thumbnail shot, so it's like whatever. And uh, considering that these things are actually kind of cheap, we can hop into another one and um, risk, it, risk it again, even though like my car was uh, way more valuable than that for a GTR, but you know. I'm here to entertain and to lose stuff, so uh, well, that's exactly what we just did. And uh, we're probably going to do it all over again in uh, 
a second or so. He's not here anymore. Maybe it was a different lobby. I did not actually um, look at the track uh, markers, so might be kind of fucked here. We're going to do that. Uh, no uh, focus slash uh, M3 G2. There you go. That's uh, more accurate, I guess. So uh, we're not going to race you because you are in a shitty car. Not not a shitty car. Okay, just a worthless car. Uh, it's not exactly worthless, but it is um, quite uh, not worth risking it versus that. Even though, like, the M3G2 is at least kind of slow, but then again, um, I guess the Aventador is not as fast as uh, some of the, I guess, faster R2s. We get changed again by uh, a guy who can't read, so congratulations, you are... Uh, I don't think he passed elementary school, honestly. Then again, um, with the way I'm talking, I probably uh, am giving off the vibe they didn't either. Come on. Like, wasn't there... In for GTR, like there's one right there. That might be him. But if I do lose to him, I'm probably going to kill myself. I'm actually not. Like eight bucks is not shit to me. So yeah, I'm 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 a fucking baller. I know. That's a different for GT, GTR, not a GT. Like a GT would kick my ass. Then again, a GTR did uh, like two minutes ago as well. So go figure. There's a GT. Okay. We are not racing versus you, mister. We are not. Uh, like, I wonder, like I got challenged by three cards so far and um, I did not leave a status message there, apparently. Or maybe I just, uh, fra I think I refreshed the lobby the time. God damn it, I'm a fucking noob. Uh, we're gonna refresh the track, hopefully it does refresh. There you go. There you go. Okay, we have uh, some cool stuff here. Hell yeah, we can... Uh, Ooh, this is an interesting lobby, actually. Wow, a bunch of turfs here. Did I enter a car meet or something? Because this looks um, quite uh, quite interesting. Uh, let's uh, indulge in the conversation here. Like, uh, uh, hello, lol. God damn it. Ah, uh, fucking hell. So we do have a javelin here, an RX-7 RE. And we just got challenged by uh, someone who's probably about to take our car. It's a Zonda. Like, why would you challenge an R2 class car in an R3? You know, except, you know, if you're a pussy. So, uh, no one actually replies, so I just got fucking destroyed there. But no money is, um, I'm R2. I mean, yeah, would I probably. How the fuck, like, these people, these people do not know the concept of economy. Or actually, they, they probably just assume I'm retarded, which, um, I mean, you know, I can't really judge them for that, except I already am, so... Oh, Jesus, it's the master. Well, that's fucking convenient. Did not even realize that. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably lose our car in the next... Um, actually, you know what? My car is probably not really valuable compared to turfs, so... Yeah, we're still not gonna do that, though. I mean, I guess we can attempt to do this. Sure, why not? There you go. So this is probably the second Aventador which we're going to lose in this video. And uh, probably the last one. Uh, I mean, if I lose, then yeah. Oh, fucking wonderful. I was hoping this would not happen. But, uh, well, it just did. So... I mean, someone said I should shut up when this happens, so I'll just do that. There you go. Oh god, the reaction time. Shit. Okay, so, as it seems, this car is quite fun to drive, but it's not very competitive, or... Uh, Actually, uh, putting it better, I'm not very competitive with it, so rest in peace. But uh, it's still a car which did surprise me in a positive way, and this was actually uh, surprisingly close. I would have gotten the car uh, if I did not fuck up the launch, but I did, so... You know, fuck it, we got the thumbnail shot, so that's really um, all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching, my name's Jared, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!